Hello and welcome to a very special episode of the Zigweed Zig Talk. And this time around, we're talking about a very important manufacturer, Tata Motors. So no more digression. Let's get straight into it. What are we expecting? Um, okay, I think let's kick things off with uh, products that we will see immediately, okay. and then move on to the flashy bits like the concepts and whatnot, right? So let's start with their first ever compact SUV, the, the Nexon. Nexon. Now, last year was launched, great package. But then it still does miss something and that's something that all of us city dwellers really want, right? And automatic. This is something that uh, Tata's then chief of R&D, Dr. Leviton, had confirmed to us when we were driving the Tigor. I think he had said on record that the Nexon automatic is in the works and it should be made available in 2018. Right. Now, it is a six-speed AMT. Okay. And uh, now we're not sure if it's going to be paired with the petrol or the diesel. They right. do use the same gearbox. Right, yeah. It? So the six speed unit is the same on the petrol as well as the diesel, diesel Nexon. So technically both are possible, but I think if we had to place our bets, diesel. It, I'm it would sure be the diesel because I think in that segment, volumes are for diesel. So yeah, expect the diesel automatic Nexon there. And speaking of automatic. Tata's, like Tata's really up their game as far as AMTs are concerned. They've, they've evolved to a large extent because when they started off with the, say the Zest AMT, not the best tuned unit, they didn't even have the creep, creep function in yeah. there. It got a little better with the Tiago and then the Tigor and right. now with the Nexon we can expect some amount of you know maturity from the gearbox and maybe it might be sporty as well because you've got their 1.5 kind of talky diesel engine, engine yeah. one of the most powerful in the segment in fact and speaking of sporty ambitions now from the twitter account tata motors has been giving us uh, multiple teasers over a span of five days that gave out a lot of, lot of information and uh, one of them is the tigor sport based right. on what we have from the teaser image so it's a sporty avatar of the tigor maybe they might be the tiago as well in a similar avatar but not so sure and what we can expect is racy accents on the car, maybe some grills may not, may not necessarily be functional but for yeah. sure make it look better. And the petrol Tigor already does come with the option of 15 inch wheels which do look pretty well, uh, go perfectly nice with the uh, body size itself of the Tigor. But most importantly, uh, what we're expecting under the bonnet, the change will be the same 1.2 litre petrol engine as the Nexon. Nexon now to right. clarify, this is the engine you've already seen in the Tigor as yeah, it is. Yeah, just without a turbocharger. Exactly. So it's this the will same get three cylinder unit. Exactly. So it's the three cylinder unit. It gets a turbocharger, gets a power bumper from whereabouts of 80, 85 horsepower to somewhere 110. 110. So that is definitely something to look forward to. And if not something that's entirely focused on being fun to drive, it might be the petrol engine that the Tigor always needed. Yeah, to because compete above, you know, the segment above, so to speak, compact. Sedans. Exactly. Because let's face it, the Tigor isn't exactly a feather light car. And mm -hmm. and all and more power is always welcome. Of course. So right. And uh, speaking of the Tigor, uh, Tata had already delivered uh, the Tigor EVs to yeah. EESL. So there's a fair chance, considering the theme this year is go green, hybrid, electric. So yeah, you might see a Tigor with a lot of batteries in its floor pan. That is, that is a very good possibility. And I think it's time to move on from cars that we will see to cars that we will eventually see, if, if I can put it that way. And uh, we'll kick things off with Tata's premium hatchback, codenamed the X451, right? right? Um, and uh, Tata's not just debuting the hatchback, it's also debuting their brand new design philosophy, the, the Impact, Impact 2.0. Now, we've already spoken to Pratap Bose, uh, Kathik's done a detailed video on what Impact 2.0 is. The video link will be up here. Or in the description. So yeah, you can go check that out on what imp what you can expect from Impact 2.0. But um, I'll tell you what we can expect from the X451, right? right? So we know that it is going to be based on Tata's new modular platform, right. the AMP, AMP. right? Um, engine options, an educated guess tells me it should borrow the engines from the Nexon, right? The 1.2, the 1.2 liter turbocharged, turbocharged petrol, petrol. 1.5 diesel, both making 110 horsepower. That will make it the most powerful car in its class, that which 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 nice. should be a, which should be a huge uh, selling point. And Tatas have always been known for space. Yes. I'm expecting it to have loads of room as well. And uh, whenever it comes, whenever it becomes a reality, we'll. Uh, yeah, we'll see I what mean, it's got to exactly. offer, but it does look promising. Yeah, in, I mean, if you look at the Nexon's interior, pretty nice design language that they had set over there. So this is going to be a combination of classy exterior and interior. And going further up now, when you're talking about premium, 
you also have to go with the odds when it comes to numbers and that is all belonging to the SUV, SUV. space. This is going to be a pretty big deal because we're talking about an SUV that shares its platform with the Land Rover Discovery, Discovery Sport. Sport. Yes, we are talking about the Q501, what I'm hoping is going to be the spiritual successor to the now dying Safari. Right. A legend in its own right, but it's in the desperate need of a revival. So this is based on the same uh, derivation of the platform of yeah, the Land of Rover the, Discovery yeah, Sport. Now, that's called the L550. Right. Uh, so it's the same uh, platform. Now that tells you two things, right? Um, if you just interpret what the Discovery Sport, it, Sport is and adapt it to a modern day Tata, the two things that that the platform offers, right? One is off-road capability. It's a Land Rover. Uh, yeah, uh, it is a Land Rover. And the second bit is seven seats. And we all love seven seats. Exactly. And, and this and is something that's probably going to be placed above the Hexa in terms of its possibly. pricing. So that might be the, again, carrying on from the revival mode. It might be a new placement altogether of the Safari. And uh, unlike the cars of the past, they're not going to be using the same 2.2 liter AVL engine. No. Uh, it's going to be possibly the same Fiat 2 litre multi-jet diesel that we've already seen in the Jeep Compass. That makes around 170 70 PS and 350 Nm, but, but I'm pretty they need sure. something more for this because this yeah. is, I'm pretty sure it's going to wear weigh in the whereabouts of two tons or maybe even more than that. So I, I'm just hoping they bring back those kick-ass ads of the Safari for the new Reclaim one. Reclaim your life. I mean, that, that, <laughs> come on, that is an advertising campaign. But uh, we digress. But yeah, what else? So, it's not just the private uh, vehicles though. It's no, not really. So obviously uh, tata has been a huge player in the commercial vehicle Absolutely. space and we will most definitely see an updated ace and an updated ultra now if these are only facelifts or something that just simply adapts the impact 2.0 design or if tata wants to go one step further introduce a hybrid or an ev version of either that because be I, I, i'd love to see an ev truck from tata if that doesn't put us on the global map i don't know what does right so that is also something that we can expect at uh, the tata motors pavilion so yeah summing up i think we're really looking forward to the premium Definitely. hatch Something that will take on the Elite i20 and the Beleno and the Polo and the Jazz. Then there's the Q501 SUV that we're really looking forward to. Plus uh, cars like the Nexon and the Tigor, obviously good to have. And those updates should make Tata's portfolio a bit more rounded, right? Absolutely. So that's it from us. And for this episode of Zig Talk, if you've liked what you've seen, please give it a thumbs up. If you've got any questions, queries, Drop them in the comments below. Tushar and I will be more than happy to answer and, uh, them. In case we do have any new information oh, yeah. or details that come in, uh, we have a story that's going to be linked in the description. You can go ahead and click in that and uh, keep yourself up to date. We will be covering the Delhi Auto Expo live. So hit the subscribe button, get all the latest updates directly from us. First, complete information, the most detailed look at the 2018 Delhi Auto Expo. For now, signing off. Thanks for watching. See you.